Peace, 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 peace. This week, I'm only recording healing. You know what I'm saying? Healing videos. Steps to take your um, start your healing journey. I've already recorded one, two, three. It's going to be the fourth one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, and grand rising and grand rising. We are rising to the top. We are rising to the top. Top, top, top. How y'all doing, family? I appreciate each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy day, your busy schedule, your beautiful sleep to watch my videos. I love you. So, um, this is going to be um, step four or the four steps of practice on your healing journey. The four steps or the four step. So, I've did one. I did two, I did three. This is the fourth one. The fourth one is acceptance. The fourth step to your healing journey, to my healing journey, to the collective healing journey is acceptance. So the first one was safety. The second one was process. Third one was examine. Then the fourth one is acceptance. And I say, um, take ownership of the part that you played in the situation take ownership of the part that you play because remember it takes two to tango i give you an example if i if i'm a thief and you know i'm a thief and i come to your house and you leave money on the table you know i come in your house i'm in the living room and you leave money on the table and by the time i leave the money is not there and it's just us two in the house I took the money, right? The part that you played in this game or in this movie is that you open your house, you open your door for me to come in. And that's how I was able to take that money. As much as you're going to blame me for stealing, you got to blame yourself. So the lesson that you will learn from that event that happened is to be cautious and to be careful who you bring to your home, especially if you know the person is a thief. You, are, you know what the person is capable of. Don't leave stuff like that around such people. They will take it. So that, that's the lesson that you will learn from such situation. So four is acceptance. You have to accept the part that you partake. You, you, you play the part. Without you, there wouldn't have been no event. But because you partake in it, that's why the event happened. So you, when you want to heal, you have to accept the part that you played. Okay? And it says... What you have gained, what you have gained from the situation, the knowledge that you have gained from the situation or the experience, what have you learned? What have you learned? i give you an example. Um, my birth mother didn't raise me. I'm in my 30s. I've seen my mom twice. When I came to America, I went to Germany to see her. And then when I was in Ghana, as a, as a child, she came and um, the perception that I had for my mom, it was different when I seen her. She used to send us photos, <clears throat> my bad. So I always knew her from pictures. And then when I see her in person, she looked nothing like the picture. You know what I'm saying? So I have every reason to not be there for my son. But because I have been through that experience, it has made me a better person. And that's why I have to be better. I have to be there for my son. Even if I have to struggle to feed him, I'm going to go through the struggle to feed him. So I have learned something from that experience. I don't know what your trauma is. What, what have you learned from that experience? The traumatic event that has happened to you. What have you learned from that? And try to write the positive things that you've learned. The positive thing that I learned, I have, that has made me a good mother. That has made me a great mother. I'm still learning because there's no book for motherhood. You don't know your child. Your child is growing and you're getting, basically you're growing with the child. So what positive experience have you learned? Did you grow from it? Write them down. Don't dwell too much on the, on the negativity because the negative event has already happened. But you have learned something. What is it that you have learned? Look back on, on whatever you have experienced and you have learned and be grateful for that. Okay? So it's acceptance. You accept it. 
that's another step. That's the fourth step to liberating yourself and your healing to take process. Um, I love you. Take time for yourself. There's so much going on in this world. Um, somebody asked me, what do I think is going to happen in 2024? And I said, whatever that happened in 2023 is going to happen. There's still going to be wars. There has always been wars. So there's no need for me to make a video and say, hey, there's going to be war. There's always been war. Okay? Um, there's still going to be fire. Just, you know, nature, disaster. All these things are going to take place. At the end of the day, you still have to go to work. You still have to pay your bills. You still got to do what you was doing last year to survive. You still got to go to work. You still got to heal. You got to do what you got to do for you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think me coming here and saying, hey, 2024, this is going to happen. We can't stop it. Sometimes nature takes its own course. Nature gets mad and, you know, take over. But either way, if you are being affected by the fire, um, I hope that you you get your resources back, you get your your feedback. You know, when you fall, don't stay down. Get up and try again. And I wish you strength. And if anybody has lost a family member, my condolences to you. They have already moved on to wherever they're going. We are here and we have to fight for ourselves and we have to fend for ourselves and our family. Thank you for watching Take Good Care of Yourself. We have to heal. Healing is the only way out. And healing starts with truth. Okay? Acceptance. Accept the part that you played. Thank you for watching. Give yourself a hug. One love.